What's up everybody, today we're going to check out what's been happening here to VeChain for the last couple of days here because people are saying here there's a huge chance that VeChain should be having a price surge here pretty soon. So we have to check this out to see really what's been happening here to this coin. So I do highly recommend you guys to watch the entire video. And of course if you do enjoy this video, I mean search me if you can leave a like, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go and check it out. So here we are core market cap right now, the market cap here for VeChain is basically 3 billion dollars the volume here did go down by five percent around 260 million dollars here for the volume and a price of one single token is at 0 0.047 right now so what's been happening to vchain and why do people think it's going to go up go here to the chart and see that basically vchain has continued here to go down we actually did decrease here by 50 percent which is not that bad if you're looking at different kinds of coins so 50 percent pullback is still okay why because if you like i said if you look at different kinds of coins let's go here to solana and the rest of them if we do measure this decrease i think everybody did like a 50 at 40 here we got crow crow actually get got down a lot so crow has been going down massively here so we're, we're not going to measure that but basically a lot of crypto has been going down sandbox so many so many of them have just continued here to make a lot of dumps just a lot of dumps here so what's gonna happen and what can we see happening here in the future for a uh, v chain so a lot of people are talking about the latest updates so the first thing we're gonna talk about is this part here saying v chain can be used as a payment in two million stores and vet bridge to bnb chain so v chain has made a series of announcements that look to sustainably grow usability and adoption of its native vet token so it says here thanks uh, to partner Alchemy Pay Wet can now be used to buy goods at 2 million plus stores globally. So see, using our advanced low carbon blockchain transaction cost fraction of a cent and our process in seconds from any VeChain wallet. So there you go. Saying here VeChain was included in the first group of tokens to be supported on the new Binance Bridge 2.0. So providing a new way to bridge tokens from Ethereum to be used on the BNB chain, formerly known as the Binance Smart Chain. So the other bridge tokens include the Sandbox San, ApeCoin Ape, Jasmine Coin, we got the Central Land, Constitution DAO, Movie Block, and Looks Rare. So looks, yeah, I've been seeing this coin here. Looks, it looks like that looks is actually breaking right now. It's just going up so much so and if that wasn't enough vchain also announced on thursday that it has joined the blockchain infrastructure alliance with bia saying here the organization links together industry experts and provides funding for blockchain related research projects so stunny little ceo of vchain spoke warm warmly about the new affiliation with the bia saying by working together with the group of leading blockchains and we can develop understanding and mutually support each other to lift the industry as a whole. Seeing here, VeChain is a supply chain tracking system. We all know that. VeChain leverages a proof of authority consensus mechanism, which has 101 master nodes and functions by verifying identities and reputations instead of proof of stake or proof of work. So, VeChain has its own system here called proof of authority if we go here to their twitter i mean parting up with so many different ones saying he beach in sustainable vetting dresses so yeah beach chain is come is like working together like basically these companies are accepting v chain and using their system here says here are you a developer looking to make your user base blockchain and web3 experience as simple as a website so check out v chain energy's fee delegation as a service solution and remove the headache of paying gas fees entirely VeChain Energy. We have VeChain X DNV. So my story, VeChain X DNV. Again, more companies, more information. Uh, VeChain X Blue Carbon. Boom, another partnership here. So see, if you're a part of the project on VeChain and you're interested in coming on VeChain at Thursday, you can reach out to me and we can make something happen. We can make something happen. Okay. So see, you now know to VeChain official a latest development, the VUSD stablecoin. Yes, they have their own stablecoin. Uh, what is VUSD? Uh, how to build and deploy vet node and many more here on one article. So yeah, do check it out for yourself if you want to learn more about VeChain here. So VCs, <laughs> okay, VC. So did you miss our space on VeChain official uh, Thursday? Good news, it's now on Spotify. Boom, there you go. 
We chain developers, did you know how easy it is to read data from the blockchain? Here's a quick example. Boom, new information about that. VeChain Tor has 100% uptime. So VeChain Tor solved major blockchain adoption challenges. So users don't pay gas fees. Free delegation. Stable TX costs, a two token model, multi-task transactions, so one tax, many outputs, and that's it. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty awesome. Uh, VeChain low transaction costs are a feature, not a bug. So yeah, feature, not a bug. But they only spend $100 on gas. So that's exactly what the real world de demands. Cheap, scalable, no congestion, and no downtime, not 4.5 thousand TX fees. So Ethereum users paid a medium fee of $4,800 per transaction in past hour. That's insane. That's insane. What? $4,000. Yeah, Ethereum needs to fix some things here. <laughs> that's a lot of money. If you're asking me, that's just too much money. It's a lot. <laughs> it's just a lot. Okay, but we're going to see what's going to happen with the battle between blockchains because basically it's... I think in the end what's going to win is the things that are more scalable and that's it. The thing right now is that people are just using Ethereum because Ethereum is just so large and it just adds, they're just adding more and more stuff and that's why it's pretty much this big and it's one of the first blockchains that you can actually make your own tokens on that blockchain because that they are, they have a head start but the problem is there's no way they can fix the fees and they even delayed that so they delay like Ethereum 2.0 let's call it even if it's not but they delayed it and now it's even worse. So now you know it's not gonna change. The fees are gonna stay the same and it's just gonna get like worse and worse. That's why Solana and so many other chains right now are, are actually exploding because they're so much cheaper. We just need to like, update their logo. Look at this. <laughs> they literally need to upgrade their logo. I, that's what I believe. If we want WeChain to be successful, they need to just update their logo and that's that's the key for, for success. So. Can WeChain make a price reversal? Yeah, yeah, totally. So WeChain has the like a lot of potential here to be worth a lot more. Of course, the problem is like VeChain, even if you do measure it from like the top to bottom, it, it's going to be like a 5x increase. So like, let's say right now they have like 3 billion, so it's gonna be a 15 billion market cap. If you do look at the rest of the coins here, 50 billion is not even close. Like BNB has 63 billion dollars because BNB is working with money and that's the whole point it's working with money while VeChain is working with businesses so VeChain is a business that actually is working with businesses and this is why I don't know directly working with businesses is a good idea like it is slow but if the businesses do implement your ideas your structure then it's gonna expand more and 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 more, and more people are just gonna go and enter VeChain and want to trade with the coin and start to use ecosystem. They have altcoins, like VeChain has some altcoins, but the problem is it's, I don't know, the marketing for VeChain just isn't it. <laughs> like their marketing just isn't doing it because they are doing stuff, but it's just not, they're not talking about the things that they're doing. They're not bragging about it. Which could be a good idea because in the end you can buy a coin for this cheap and later on in the future when more and more people accept it and when people find out that it's actually this good and you can start to just hold it and you bought it for this cheap and of course it's going to be and have just a massive head start in front of all the rest of the people who didn't even, even know the region is this good. So yeah, we're going to see what's going to happen here. Massive price potential here for chain in the end so let's actually just measure this if i can measure with a fibonacci if we do make a reversal if we do continue to go up somehow right now the next target right now is going to be uh, 0 0.11 so that's going to be an increase of where we are right now basically of 140 146 percent increase if we do uh try to make the reversal and try to pass get past this level but of course it's still pretty much far away from that if you have some new updates, then yeah, we could be able to do it and there's a chance for that. But in the end, we did break to the downside of this triangle, which is not really good. But something should be happening here to VeChain pretty soon. And because of that, we should be seeing a massive price increase. But 
But yeah, guys, we're going to see what's going to happen pretty soon here. In the end, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, it means so much to me. If you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.